Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. There's some huge news out of Microsoft at E3 last weekend, with a flurry of information about Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, including a trailer, screenshots, and just a ton of info of what we can expect from it. There's a lot to cover, but let's start with the trailer. In the first shot, we have a fight between what looks to be some of the new civilizations. Right away, you can see the graphics have been completely redone at a higher resolution, but everything is faithful to the original counterparts and are completely recognizable. You can see here the Eastern European architecture, and we have some paladins, cavaliers, trebuchets, and a whole lot of what appears to be a new Lancer Heavy Cavalry unique unit. Mixed into the Red Army is also what looks to be a Hazar, maybe a Magyar Hazar, and a Bowyer, along with a ton of champions and crossbows. We also get a look at some gates being destroyed, and collapsing buildings is one of my favorite features in Age of Empires 1 Definitive Edition, and I'm really glad they've included that. Just looking at the barracks, you can tell how much more detailed everything is, which is going to be just that much better, now that it's all in 4K and zoomable. I'm really looking forward to being able to zoom right in on some battles and seeing things up close. In the second trailer shot, we get another big battle. There's Huskarls and light cavalry all over the place. The castle is basically the same, but we can also see how much more detailed it is, and I like the really subtle flames peeking out of the windows. That being said, the fire on the gates could use a bit more polish, as you can see it through the ram. We also get a look at a monk and a donkey, which I think is just a scenario editor unit. One thing that worries me a little bit is the somewhat glitchy champions in the corner. They have me a bit nervous about pathfinding, but it's probably too little to really pass judgment on, especially since the Huskarls and Light Cavalry on the other side of the battle seem to be doing just fine on their end. Moving on, the trailer announces full remastered audio. I was a little disappointed that the trailer didn't have any recognizable Age of Empires music though. I assume they've re-recorded the soundtrack with real instruments, similar to how Age of Empires 1 Definitive Edition did. In the next shot, we see the Korean Conqueror's campaign mission. We get a nice look at the new firing effect. Cannons seem to come with explosions now, which is pretty cool. You can see they've also made some tweaks to the campaign mission itself. Hopefully they went through the campaigns and made all of them a bit more detailed to help bring them to life a bit more. Zooming in on the towers and walls, they all look great to me, and the detailed roofing on the buildings is also amazing. Same with the little details on the road. The graphics overall in this shot are just amazing. We even get a quick glimpse of an outpost collapsing, and it just looks to me like it has the right amount of weight to it. Based on what I've seen so far, the collapsing buildings are really well done. In the next shot, we see a glimpse of the one new campaign, The Last Cons. It shows off a nice new architecture set. We obviously see a town center, a castle, an archery range, barracks, a wonder, what's probably a siege workshop, and a monastery with an old-fashioned priest. We also see what look to be some Mamelukes, a new cataphract type unit with a lance, maybe a unique unit, and what seemed to be a new type of cavalry archer. If I were to guess, I'd say this is the new Kumin and Tatar unique units. In the next shot, we see a lot of halberdiers, two-handed swordsmen, and more of the new cataphract type of unit. We also get a glimpse of heavy cavalry archers and arbalests in action, along with a new Gaia animal. It's kind of amusing to see all the barricades and formations on the battlefield as if fights in Age of Empires ever actually look like this. It all seems very formal and organized compared to the complete mess it usually turns into in reality. I get that this is more for a general audience than just Age of Empires players though, so we'll let it slide. Another thing that jumps out to me in this shot is the three horse chariot. The fact there's only one makes me think it's a hero unit of some sort, or an Egyptian who wandered into the wrong game. Personally, I think the more units they include, the better it is for scenario editors. I'm sure someone will put it to good use in their scenario, and I doubt it's a unique unit or one you'll see a lot of. In fact, there's been a ton of new units showcased already, on top of all of the expansion civilizations. Considering the rumor is that this is going to be sold for the same price that HD has been going for, just seems like a ton of content for me. And hopefully they can back it up with some great performance as well. In the final trailer shot, we see what looks to be the Persians against the Berbers, though there are also a few cataphracts mixed in. We can tell the previous Lancer units weren't actually cataphracts, because these look exactly like what we'd expect cataphracts to, though maybe a bit more heavily armored. I'm not as big of a fan of how they look now, and it was a really iconic unit, but I'll grant it's probably a bit more historically accurate. 
We also get an epic shot of the Persian wonder collapsing. The only thing really bugging me about this clip is what a suboptimal strategy it is to hold your war elephants back here. If they deleted the wall and houses on the left and charged the trebuchets, they could definitely have saved the wonder. Overall though, even if the shots were a bit contrived, the trailer gave a nice glimpse of both old and new units and buildings. So that does it for the trailer, but Microsoft also released a set of screenshots on ageofempires.com, so let's check those out as well. The first is a very cold looking scene between some Vikings. I'm not a big fan of the misty shroud over the map, which I hope is just some overzealous photoshop work on the screenshots, or something that can be turned off. If I really wanted to experience the effect of playing the game with early stage cataracts, I'd go stare at the sun. Up close though, the berserks look awesome, as well as a similar looking but not quite identical axe wielding unit. I can't imagine it's a second skin for the Berserk, as that's not something Age of Empires 2 has ever done before, and I think it might just be another example of a scenario editor unit. From the screenshot, we can also see the villagers are still jacked as always, and I love the look of the farms in the snow around the town center. Again, this looks amazing. We also get a glimpse of some demo ships and a demo raft in action, and the explosions again look great. Moving on, in the next picture we can see the opening of the Genghis Khan scenario, the units are all recognizable, including the Mangadai, Light Cavalry, and Hazars. It's easy to overlook, but the ground textures are also very nice. We get a good look at a Tarkin and the Priest again. In fact, I hope this actually reflects some more details being added to the campaigns as a whole, and not just spruced up for this one picture. The next screenshot also shows the opening of one of the Aztec missions. Here we get a first look of Jaguar and Eagle Warriors, along with some Conquistadors. The shallows are well done even if they're a bit harder to see. The green and the water blend together a lot more than before, and it's certainly a lot more realistic. We also get a shot of what looks like a siege from the Joan of Arc campaign. We see a lot of longbows, throwing axemen, halberdiers, and paladins. There's also a couple of cavalry units with jousting lances. I suspect this is just another scenario editor unit, since there's just one on each side, and it looks a lot like the El Cid sprite, so it's probably just a hero unit. Next up, the last of the agevampires.com screenshots is of the Chinese. We see a few wonders, including a more ornate one, with three rings of steps leading up to it. I don't think I've seen that before in the editor, though I might be wrong, and my guess is this is a variation of the monument. We also get a first look at some Chuko News, and again the new Lancer Cataphract type unit, which I think might be the unique unit of the Tatars. That's the last of the agevampires.com screenshots though. But I have good news. If you know where to look on xbox.com, you can also find some media assets, which include a whole bunch more screenshots. I figure since we're all already here, why not go through a few of those as well and see what else we can find. The first shot here is of Constantinople from the Attila the Hun campaign. They've obviously changed the Byzantines to have the Italian architecture set, which makes a lot of sense to me. Overall though, I don't really like the look of this picture all that much. Maybe the roofs are just too dark or something. Constantinople is just an iconic shot I've used myself on the Byzantine Civ overview, but something about it just doesn't look that great to me here. We do get another nice look at some of the cataphracts and their changed appearance. We also get a glimpse of the seawall, which has a chain across it now. The fact they're putting enough attention into it to make what appears to be a gate is very interesting, and that's long been something I've been hoping was buildable by fishing ships. I really like the new graphics, but in this case, I prefer the more colorful and green older city. And sorry, but I like the older cataphracts a lot better. Maybe that's just me. The next picture also isn't my favorite, and I think has way too much editing on it. It looks way too green and saturated to my eye, especially in the water. The tower is kind of cool, and I'm not sure if this is a keep or something beside a watchtower. And zoomed in, the units do look very nice, especially the plumed archers in the corner. I feel like a wannabe art critic right now and suddenly really negative, but zooming out this one's just not as great to look at for me. Graphics are a tricky thing and really subjective, though I'm sure I'll be instantly sold once I see some of these buildings collapsing and I'm able to zoom right in and out of everything. Moving on we get a nice picture of Celts against Britons, the bold raiders and knights are easy to recognize, and I love the exploding trebuchet in the corner. I hope that comes with a nice big explosion sound to back it up. We also get some more scenario editor eye candy here, like the fortress in the bottom and the king at the top. I'm really digging the new look of the longbows, especially in red. 
The arrows are a bit cartoonish and oversized, but I imagine that really helps follow them when you're actually zoomed out and playing the game, so I completely understand that choice. Moving on, in the next picture we see one of the new Eastern civilizations and their wonder, titled Bulgarian's Screenshot. There's a lot of attention to detail here, even letting you zoom right in to see the tables inside the building. We also get a look at the new flail-wielding cavalry and a Magyar Hazar, still one of my favorite looking units. There's also a flail-wielding infantry unit that I imagine is just for the scenario editor. Given how often we've seen it so far, I'm pretty confident this cavalry archer is also a unique unit. Also, just stop for a second and look at these trees. The way the statue blends with the rocks and trees here, it's just really nice to look at. I feel like I'm going to be making more gardens than empires in this game. Next up, we see here a nice farming community with the Mediterranean architecture. It's pretty obvious this is the Byzantines given all of the cataphracts. There's also what looks to be a late Roman Empire legionary in the field, just chilling out. The next one is of another new civilization called the Cumans, with a distinctive blue domed architecture. There's a couple of interesting units here, including an ox cart in addition to a trade cart, and a camel that appears to be carrying hay. I've just changed my mind and I think the unique cavalry archer unit is for the Cumans and not the Tatars. From the look of its lack of armor and its short bow, I'd guess it's a lightly armored short range cavalry archer, though it's hard to say without seeing its stats. Moving on, next is another very green picture of the Indians and their architecture. Zooming in, you get a glimpse of a few types of elephants and some different types of monks and priests. It might seem like a lot of different units that would be hard to differentiate, but each screenshot seems to have a lot of scenario editor units and units from different civilizations thrown in, and I think in the context of an actual game, you won't have nearly this much going on at any one time. Also, it totally looks like this guy is riding a magic carpet. Next up, we get a shot of an Italian city with what looks to be a ton of red and bloom effect. I'm not a huge fan of this one, again, I think there's been too much photoshopping, but zooming in we see less of the effects and get a good look at some condottieri hanging out after church, along with some Genoese crossbows and two-handed swordsmen. Again, the wonder looks great here with a lot of attention to detail. Further up in the picture we can see a couple of types of towers, including the new Bombard Tower. I like that the top of the tower is now a different shape to help differentiate them. We also see a few hand cannoneers, which look much more now like an arquebus to me. Zooming in even more and comparing to HD, you can see they really took the guns in a different direction, and I like that. Moving on, in the next picture we get a look at the Khmer. The most notable thing here besides a lot of great explosions is the Khmer Ballista Elephants, looking a little underfed, and the Battle Elephants, now featuring chains on their tusks. Honestly, they're kind of scary looking now. I know I'm just dreaming, but wouldn't it be great if researching their unique tech, tusk swords, actually changed how the unit looked, or if there was a tech to give them those chains along with extra attack and trample damage. I know we won't get that, but it's fun to imagine. Next up, with just a couple left, in this one we get to see a Malian city, confirming that the African Kingdom civs are going to be included. The town center again looks awesome, and we get a glimpse of both the Malian and Ethiopian unique units. I think this unit over here is also a heavy camel. Jumping over to the corner, we also get a great look at some of the African Kingdom wildlife as well. And finally, the last screenshot is for the Spanish, featuring their new Mediterranean architecture. This one gives us more of units and buildings we've already seen, including some conquistadors, cavaliers, condottieri, hand cannons, and a paladin. So those are all these screenshots that have been released at this point. If you're dying to see more, you might be interested in signing up for the closed beta, which you can do at ageofempires.com. The release date for now is set as fall 2019, which would be nice considering we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of Age of Kings. Personally, I'd rather they release the best possible game rather than rush it out, so I have no problems with them pushing that date back if the game needs it. So far, from what I can tell, things are looking great, but graphics alone aren't going to win over everyone from HD and Voobly. Even then, I'm sure not everyone is going to be sold on the new graphics, so you have to give them something else. I really hope just as much effort and attention has gone on under the hood to make this the best version of Age of Empires 2 available and unite the community behind the new game. I'll of course be updating you guys as news continues to come out, and I really hope you're as excited as I am about the potential this game has. 
That'll do it for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.